<laughs> As you can see, I'm rocking the hawk once again, but so is Thor. Even though we've both done it before, we've never done it at the same time. Uh, you know, watching all the Mad Max movies again, yeah, everybody's got crazy hair. We figured we'd jumpstart away with the apocalypse. Which is why we're here today. As a guy who spent a considerable amount of time alone, today I'm going to give you some tips from me, you know, crazy ass hermit, to you, uh, for anybody who's alone during this time. Or even if you just have a roommate or, you know, anything. I mean, it's, it's weird for most people, I think. I mean, the whole outdoorsy side of me, that's only been within like the past three years. I used to always just kind of stay at home and do nothing. Um, but that's their reasons for it. I get into that. That's not what's important. The number one thing that I have to say, it's not really number one, it's just the first thing I'm going with. Related to hygiene, I know everybody's constantly telling you to wash your hands right now and everything, but seriously, remember to bathe. You'd be surprised. You go through long periods of isolation, you get into a funk, you, no pun intended, you don't think about it, and then you realize it's Thursday. The last time I showered was Sunday. Remember to bathe, seriously. And that was the perfect time you can't leave or anything. Take a long hot soak in the bath. You would be surprised at how relaxing it is. Pour yourself your mead, your wine, grab a beer, a soda, water, whatever your preference is. Just kick back, relax, let that hot water soothe you. You won't be disappointed. Speaking of water soothing me, I've got it running all down my beard now. Number two, get dressed. No joke, it is so tempting to just lounge around in your pajamas and I don't know what it is. Get up, take a shower, get dressed. And I'm just relaxed today, cargo pants and my Iowa hoodie. Or get all gussied up like you normally would. I've been days I've been here with my, you know, the stuff you usually see me wear, like just a t-shirt, obviously I have under this, my, my uh, bracers and my rings and everything. And I'm not going anywhere, but you just, you feel better. That old saying, you look good, you feel good. It holds true. Uh, get dressed. Seriously. It's great to lounge around in your pajamas every now and then, but get up, take a shower, get dressed. You don't, you're not going to shower every day, probably. You don't got anywhere to go, but on the days you do, get dressed. Even if you're just sitting in front of Netflix and binging, get dressed. You'll feel a hundred times better, I guarantee it. The other thing I don't do, um, so the thing about me that you probably don't know, I hate wearing shoes. Like, I'm, I'm almost like a hippie like that, I can't, so I have not worn shoes or socks pretty much the past two weeks unless I've had to leave the house. If I had to even, like, go down into the basement to do my laundry, because I have to leave, go outside the house and walk around to the back of the house and go down to the cellar, it's an old house. Uh, I just throw my slippers on, like, but otherwise, you know, get dressed. Shit, man, get, get dressed up someday. Put on a suit or a dress or whatever you're into and... Watch Star Trek on Netflix like that. I just finished Voyager and I'm halfway through season one of Enterprise. We're getting there. Um, number three. You're going to think I'm crazy. You probably already do think I'm crazy. In part because I am. But number three. Make your bed. No joke. Just, it, it'll make you happier. I mean, just sitting here on the couch and looking over there at my bed. Because, yes, this is my bedroom now. We'll get to that in number four. Um, my bed is made show you that here in a second and it just it makes me happy now with the bean bag I'd usually flip it up and fluff it up I, I didn't do it today so planning on laying down there later probably can take my laptop over there just lay in bed and play on my laptop uh, I picked up Witcher 1 and 2 on a steam sale it's time to start diving into that well I'm finishing up the uh, think of its trilogy and I want to start get, working on the Witcher and I'd like to know a bit more about that if we're starting the games not important to this video really but yeah so let's check out my bed. I'm just gonna turn the camera out here. And and there you have it. It's my bed. It is made. I, I threw the Templar cape on there. It's usually not on there, it's usually on the back of the uh, the couch if I'm not using it. Got my door there, it's closed right now, but I'm gonna open it later so I can have that nice breeze blowing over me while I'm laying in it. But yeah, make your bed. Number four, have things to do. Find something to do. If you're not a content creator on YouTube, now is the time to become a content creator on YouTube. Blog, you know, make make your vlogs, not vlog, vlog about this, or blog about it, either one. Give yourself a project. Like, 
seriously. I, I mean, I've had a lot of videos that I wanted to do. Some of them falling through from circumstances beyond my control already, even. But get some ideas, get it out there. Even if you, you make videos for the next month, every day, detailing what you're going through in quarantine, you never do it again. Document that, because this hasn't happened in forever, and it's not going to happen again. And people are going to come back and find these videos, and they're going to be fascinated by, like, how did you get through this? You know, what did you do? And those just probably just sat around, like said on Netflix or whatever. Right now my internet's actually out, so. And it has been since last night. Not a good time for that to happen. Uh, especially since I just paid, like I paid the internet bill and an hour later it went out. Um, death made me mad. <laughs> so, yeah, have a project. You know, this is time to learn something. Like learn a new, new game. I picked a new board game. I'm going to show it to you right now. went over to the game board. It's my shout out for the game board. Haven't done one of those in a while. I figured local business, they're going to be having to shut down soon. I better pick something up. I've had my eye on this for a while because it looked really cool. And then I, I even had an idea for a video I could do. And that is Bunny Kingdom. Uh, I've been playing this. Playing it with Thor. He has kicked my ass at every single game. Axe's uh, first game, it was like 200 and some, like 220 to 184 was the final score. And uh, you can tell, I mean, this is like three days into quarantine, and, and I'm like, well, I, I, I was losing until about the end, and I almost had you, and then I'm just thinking about that line in the Fast and the Furious, I'm just envisioning Thor going, doesn't matter if you win by a mile or a second, winning is winning. I realize I'm only three days into this thing, and I've already kind of lost it. But to be fair, and to quote uh, Muddy Waters, you can't lose what you ain't never had. So, yeah, learn, learn something new. That's... Uh, Bunny King, oh man, this game. Despite the fact that they're, they're, they're rabbits, and it seems all cutesy, it's actually a really cool uh, sort of empire building game with rabbits and building your fiefdoms and everything. Fiefdoms, I've heard it both ways, let's just say it both ways. So yeah, find to do to keep yourself busy. Video games, binge watch those movies you've been wanting to binge watch, you know. Like I said, I'm tearing through Star Trek, uh, playing board games. Got to keep busy. Got to keep that mind sharp somehow, you know. Read that book you've been putting off. Hey, since I'm on the topic, finally read with fire and sword. I mean, it, it's in public domain. It should be free on uh, Kindle. Pick that up, or, or even do just do the audio book or something. Because uh, my movie review is coming up soon. You'll be in on it. And, uh, that that's the one of the three books that I've read. I like read straight all the way through, and I've read it multiple times. So get your projects going, and. Five, solve the mystery. I'm gonna give you the mystery. You're even getting something like folks' tales today, because I'm gonna tell you a little story. So when I got my first place out in West Bend, and, and I was on my own, so not really my first place, because I had my own place in the military as well, but my first place after that, I was at uh, the West Bend, mm, excuse me, Goodwill, and I found this thing, and it was a like a dollar ninety nine. And it's all set up because you can see this plaque, it had this, this chain on. I'm like, this is cool, it's only like $2. I'm going to buy this and hang it on my front door. Because I need something to hang on my front door in an apartment complex. Everybody's got like welcome signs and stuff. But this is perfect because it fit me. Because nobody knows what the hell this thing is. So it's actually on the back of my, my bedroom door. When that door is uh, open, it hangs over a little bit towards where my bed is. So this lady stares at me in my sleep. But yeah, um... No idea who that is. I mean, first thought was Mother Teresa. It's clearly not Mother Teresa. Then another thought was Baba Vanga. It's not quite Baba Vanga. There is no artist mark on this thing. Hung that on my front door. And anytime one of the residents in there asked me what this was, I always have a different story for them. I told one it was uh, Baba Yaga. I actually just quoted lines from Ed Guy's Realms of Baba Yaga. That was kind of funny. Neighbor lady told me I needed Jesus, and my response was, perhaps it's you who needs Satan. She moved out like a week later. Uh, my sister, who was the property manager, wasn't too happy about that. But, <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I have I told people, it was like, like a, a bust of my old Romani great-grandmother, and that her ashes were actually cast inside of it. <laughs> and she was there to look over me. So me and my friends dubbed this thing the, uh, the Guardian. We've done reverse image searches on this thing. Nobody knows what this is. 
I mean, even the day I bought it, I mean, the Goodwill, I like picked up and run, going up, up to people, like, hey, do you know what this is or who this is? And they'd be like, no. And I thought, well, that's perfect. But here we are about six years later, and that's your new internet mystery. Find out who or what this is. I want to know. I do have one great story to end with this, though. So uh, people that live next door to me, his, uh, his mother was visiting. And she's like this old... Eastern European lady came out of the, the nursing home to visit and she's got the scarf on her head and everything so she looks just like this and I was leaving the, the house taking Thor out to like go to the bathroom and she was leaving and she's there with her walker and I see it and I'm just like it's on my door right and I'm like I shouldn't do it I shouldn't do it I have to grab it out the door go right up to her I'm like oh my god oh my god it's you it's really you and she's like excuse me I'm like I'm your biggest fan can I have your autograph? And she sees it, instantly realizes that that's how she's dressed and everything. This old lady just cracks up laughing. I, I thought she was about to fall down the stairs. She was laughing so hard. So this thing has brought a lot of joy, the guardian of my room. Um, but yeah, let me figure out what this is. <laughs> so one other thing that I should tell about the story about this though is that the apartment I had, a uh, guy had died in there before I moved in. Um, and I'm looking for a place to live like a year later and my credit's not good because I hadn't had a credit card or bought, you know, the last car I bought I paid for in cash and everything. I hadn't been using a credit card so my credit was, like my credit didn't exist. Like, it wasn't even that it was bad, it was just there was no credit. And, uh, but my sister being this property manager, she's like, well I got a, I got a room and she's like, you know, you're allowed to have dogs there. And she goes, there's just, you know, one catch. And I was like, what? She goes, well, remember last year when I found the body in that room? And she says, yeah. And she goes, it's, it's that apartment. I was like, well, how's well, the dead guy smell is gone? I don't got a problem. I was like, if he's going to haunt the place, that's cool because I have somebody to talk to. Maybe he'll even pitch in for rent. So, uh, but apparently somebody had put like a cross, like an actual cross on the door of the, going into the apartment and like clear nail polish so you can only see it if like the light hit it just right and the way this was hanging it was like directly under the cross so that eerie face below this even eerier cross it just creeped everybody out and there was this uh, Asian lady single mother had like two kids and Thor really liked going outside and playing with the kids uh, he'd like hear him outside on the balcony he'd want to go outside and play with them so I was taking a set there out playing in the courtyard she's getting ready to move moving in about a couple days like less than a week and she's like can I ask you something she's like I've been wondering this for like almost two years now and I says what she goes what is that face on, the, on your door and I was like oh I says honestly I have no fucking clue and she just cracked up laughed she's like everybody's talking about it. everyone's doing what that is I'm like yeah I don't I'm like I found it at Goodwill <laughs> so there, you know what? You can't leave your house. The internet's your friend as long as it's not down like mine currently is and has been for, oh man, like seven hours now. Who knows when I'll upload this video. You know, get a, get a picture of that, all right? Help me out. What is this? Who is that? Like, I need to know. <laughs> so there's five tips to help you get through the quarantine. And if you need more things to do, number six, watch more YouTube videos. Watch my YouTube videos. Please, I could use the views. And anyway, got the mohawk. Thor's got the mohawk. He's kicking my ass at Bunny Kingdom and, and talking shit about it. Hopefully your time's going as well as mine because uh, it's going to be a while. And uh, we'll see you next time.